next game. All right, welcome to the Land of Dawn, everybody. This is game number three. Arctic Esports up against Echo. Let's get right into it. CW showing us something every something different every game, right? We've seen the yeah. the, the Moss Golf, we've seen the uh, Melissa, right? Now we've seen Leslie. Just, uh, I mean. <laughs> I, I did say early on, you know, if the if you're holding on to anything, now is the best time to just pull it out in this series. Yeah. You add that also that uniqueness, that flavor here from something that we really haven't seen much of so far in this M4 tournament. And you know, previous game they made it work for them. Boots though, now has the help with Sands. They do get the flicker in. Sanford not going to be able to get to the Terra oh! Five. First blood over the hands of Boots. Well done. Really smart play here, and I think this is a huge mistake coming in from Sp Sanford specifically. He should have known better. Why would Glue suddenly walk <laughs> into the left rush and not back in, especially when he has Flicker as well? There's just no reason he should have expected the mid lane to start coming, and I'm probably I'm pretty sure that Sanji did oh. comment that there is somebody missing in the mid lane. M4 stats, Onyx is ranked first in assists per game with 39.8. <laughs> what? That is insane. That is insane. 40 assists per game? Now my OCD is kind of like itching right now. Just, just make it 40. Why would you put the point eight there? No, just make it 40, man. How is that even calculated? Does it combine everybody's assists? Like uh, it would definitely combine everybody's assists as a team. But now we see why Baras is being so very annoying here, v working similarly to Cartesi oh. on this Fredrin. That should technically be okay here. But yeah, they're invading every move we see coming out from Echo. Onik has a very smart response. Yeah, I mean, it's, and, and not only that, but you see a lot of this pressure on this side. Turtle's going to be up in a couple seconds here. But by that time, you have all these ultimates on the line. Sans does have that cult altar, so he's going to hold on to that here. But, man, if anything, we've seen uh -oh. uh, how much of a nuisance a Barrett's jungle can be here, especially that front line presence. <laughs> As already, they're trying to contest oh. this. Yawi gonna go in here. Gets the way of the dragon. There's the Cold Altar to respond. Oh. Carl T's able to scare the turtle. Cold Altar committed. They're still gonna fight it out. Looking for the kill as Kyrie falls. Sanford going in with the strike. Able to find Sands. Two down. Looking for more. Double kill for Sandy. Make it a triple. Beautiful, oh. beautifully done. And you know, Sanford, even though he was about to lose his lane, got a little bit of help to hit that level four and immediately making all that difference. It feels like whoever makes that first move is, especially when you're copying, expect two call altars from either side. Whoever pops it first is gonna lose. Oh my God, I gotta say, Echo's draft and their strategy is so good coming to this game. You have Dyros that can destroy tanks and they force Kyrie into a tank character. First of all, that's not something Kyrie's known for, right? They ban away every single assassin available and force him on your Baraz and pick the Dyros. On top of it, it's a Yaoi differential, right? Yaoi comes in with a kick onto the Dyros, a full combo, full dive. That was incredible. 4-0 clean sweep and the turtle. Let's talk about ambulance. Oh. Here we go. They're going to go ahead and find Yaoi. They're going to use a lot here. Oh. Divine Judgment and the Daytona's welcome. Oh. Yaoi can't escape that one. Now they're going to focus on Betty Cutie. Terrified oh. comes down. Oniki Sports able to grab two kills top side. Oh. I'm not gonna lie, a bit disrespectful that uh, Keyboy took that kill from CW. He definitely would have preferred it, but I don't think this is the end of the engagement. Okay, it is, but 40 seconds off the clock until we see the next turtle come. CW, now that he is ahead in the lane against Benny QT, it's gonna be really tough for Benny QT to keep on laning against him. It's just a losing battle. Oh my god, the early oh, game. Oh, Sans! No. They get the Cult Altar out here. Fraser's Wrath gonna be committed. But as you were saying, Dave. Yeah, I was, about to, I was about to say the early game, despite the how much Onik just won on the top side, they're still behind from one play on the bottom side, right, on the turtle fight. Just to show you that the early game advantage, the, the team fight Echo setting up. Talking about team fight, here we go, top side. Well, they get the flicker out, but they're gonna sandwich in. There's the Colt Alter, the flicker in. CW can't escape that one. Yowie oh. picking up a kill himself. Now Keyboy gonna be sandwiched as well. Still gonna go in with the Divine Judgment. Sandy has to flicker out. Carl is still there on the front side. They disengage for now, and also even on the bottom side, they're gonna be duking it out there. But the turtle is now Ooh. up. Carl TZ looking to get an oh. initiation here. Keyboy has to be careful. Daytona's welcome, gonna eat up Yaoi. Into the wall he goes. Can't get the kill though, Sands. Able to get the Colt Alter. They're gonna reset. Carl TZ goes and focuses on the turtle. Oh, oh Sands. Gotta be careful, Sands. The Colt Alter comes out. Ooh. Flicker in, they get the kill for Sanford. Now Boots here. Turtle secured, still going on in the mid lane. 
And there you go, Echo Philippines still building on this lead. Oh man, every time Onik actually gets a profitable play, Echo makes sure that they stop that momentum instantaneously. They don't allow them to get even more gold than they should. And Echo now just pumping up the gas. They're making sure that Onik cannot breathe. And this gold lane getting obliterated. CW is going to struggle to even walk Holy up. Holy, look at the gold differential on the EXP lane right now. You know, you have Dyros sitting at 4,100 gold, about 1,100 gold ahead. I mean, this guy's building full penetration. Dyros already had penetration, but before oh, that... Keyboy gonna go in, they should be able to find Sanji, they do! Sans grabs the kill, it's a shutdown! That's gonna be a nice win for Onik Esports, but can they still press the situation? They're gonna make their way to the top side, Yaoi gives the signal. Benny QD gonna back out here for now. This is gonna be a scary for Echo, right? I mean, like, the later it goes, Dyros gonna do more damage, more burst. And it's going to be really good against the, the Cold Order if you copy that ultimate. Uh, another skirmish in the mid lane. Yeah, oh, TZ. Should be okay. Terrifying. They just poke back and forth. Both teams going to respect here. Kyrie, again, quite tanky on this Barretts. So far, I'm trying to figure out where exactly the focus is going to be. Oh, for, oh, oh, oh no. The focus is going to be right here with the wave drag from Yahoo! CW going to oh, fall. Cold Holder comes down. They're still looking for Keyboy and Sans. They're in trouble. It's a double kill for the oh. Storm. As Sandy grabs another himself. Free fall for Onik Esports. Man, I was about to talk about the focus coming in from Onik, <laughs> but Echo, it's a very clear plan for them. They just want to absolutely shut down this gold lane and make sure that CW will never be able to get to that late stage of the game. It will be ideally over before he even begins to start walking. Are you not entertained by the Yaoi's chow? Yeah. <laughs> this is just build different gaming, right, on top side. High energy and gaming. High energy gaming. This guy goes in, high energy, yells, yeehaw! <laughs> walking, what the, oh! You know, and everybody just falls. It's, it's actually just build different gaming. Speaking of that, Dave's been unleashed here, and now they get a punish. They're still looking for more. Kyrie is down. Turtle gonna be secured by Carl TZ. Now the focus here in the mid side. They get oh. the tarot by Sandy. He's gonna fall though. Onik Esports trying to turn this moment around in the mid lane. Not gonna be able to get anything else though. Keyboy does still have that divine judgment, but it's safer if they don't initiate. All right, now I'm thinking when exactly is Onik Esports going to get that momentum back, right? I mean, yes, they're bleeding right now. Yes, they're trying to stop this momentum, but Echo is in full control. And I think, you know, number one, Samford is basically uncontested in the side lane. Nobody can really do anything about it. And Onik now forcing themselves into a corner to make sure that CW could eventually carry the game. But I don't think that might not necessarily be the right play here. And this goes back to what we talked about in the very beginning when Leslie got first drafted, right? We talked about this. This is a very item dependent character. It needs like four items just to be relevant. And he's not getting there anytime soon, you know? At this rate where Akko is snowballing, especially with Yaoi's Chao, the engage is coming too fast. I mean, even with Kaja's hook, you feel like there's this lack of damage. Whoever he used Divine Judgment, there's not enough burst to get that one taken care of. Well, they might be looking for a moment here as the conceal play comes out. Cold Holder, Yaoi with the way of the dragon. Look at the backside, looking oh. for more. Sans in trouble here. CW trying to fire off on the backside. Carl TZ gonna get it eaten oh. up here. It's Boots that falls though. Do they have enough damage? Yaoi has to flick around. They're still looking. CW full health here. Still on the chase, Sanford quite low, but it's only Carl TZ who falls. That's what you want to see coming up from Onik Esports. They want to trade 50-50 at this stage of the game where the gold is relevant, and more so, they're actually at a, a deficit, which is way worse for Echo, who are supposed to be ahead, and very clearly in the lead with their 5k gold lead. But what a great job from Onik Esports. Played it really slow and steady. At this point, just like you pointed out, Pokedian, the trade is good for them, right? Especially any trade that doesn't involve CW. Give the CW the slow but sure steady accumulation into the late game. Let him have the item because he needs that. The entire team's damage is banking on this Leslie, and you cannot come any faster for him to get his item. Well, Conceal used again. Keyboy gonna have to find the right target with this Divine Judgment. Carl TZ, the front line here. Lord still gonna go ahead and reset. No one gonna commit just yet. But this is the disadvantage of Onik Esports. They have no space to work with, no turrets down. As Echo Philippines has that advantage, 
And you can see them oh. focusing more. Conceal gonna come out here. Looking at the moment, they get the Divine Judgment. Oh, oh Sanford in trouble. Immortality gonna be popped for now. Oh. Boots gonna fall though. Is Sanford able to grab the kill? CW still on the backside. Firing off, but it's just too much. Echo Philippines, look at Carl Teasy. Appraiser's Wrath comes down. They're gonna zone them oh. back. The flicker in. Sandy with the drag. Kyrie oh. still up for oh. now. But Benny Cutie with the killing spree going in, finding another as Keyboy falls. No, CW couldn't get his ult on the right target. He could have gotten the kill off of Benny QT, or at the very least, forced somebody to block it for him. But Onyx, man, what a trade that was. Unfortunately, not falling into their favor, guaranteeing that Echo is going to take this Lord, and now are looking to put that final nail in the coffin to get to that 10k goal lead. To be honest, I mean, you got to give CW credit, right? Because at this point, there's so much dive. Just surviving is take a lot of effort, you know? Yeah. And it's really hard. Everybody's falling, and the CW is able to survive. Let's take a look at his items right now. At oh. least he got Endless Battle Berserker free, but he's war slowly working towards the uh, BOD. It's getting close, but look at Claws. Already sitting at 9,000 gold, 2,000 gold ahead just from the Marksman alone. And let's talk about mid lane as well, right? From is is 2,000 gold ahead as well. This is getting scary every time Echo engages. They have the damage, they have the items to make it happen. I mean, that's the thing, you can see this as they try oh. to hold on to the tier oh. one. But the quick play from Yaoi again under the turret. Sanford on the back side, gonna get pulled with the Divine Judgment. Daytona's welcome as well, blazing to it. Everything being thrown at Onyx Esports. Ooh. The flicker again from Sanford as three down for Onyx Esports. Oh. Oh man, <laughs> Yowie's so good on show. He's just too good. Get it out of here. Inhibitor falls. Next fight, they're gonna end it right here. They're still gonna be going here. Benny Kitty in the backside, right. just able to free hit. Keyboy in trouble, trying to buy time, but it's not gonna be enough as Echo Philippines takes the match, taking game number Ooh. three. GG, well played, Echo.